Hello, Hello. We, we are Annie and Constantine, and, Constantine. and, and you're, you're watching, watching another episode, episode of, of You Know, know updates. updates. And we're standing here on a beautiful terrace of our home for the next three nights in the beautiful city of Amsterdam. Yes, vacation. <laughs> You're just a still life right now. Okay. You're just a frame. So dear friends, join us now on our expedition through the Wondel Park with what is probably like one of the coolest kids place situations thingies we've ever encountered. So basically go all the way up here and then you continue through the jungle. Now tell me, how cool is that? This is amazing. This is... I kind of wish I was a little shorter, which never happens. But this is like the, every kid's dream castle. And you climb so far off that you're not in, you know, constant view of the parents either. So this is... This is amazing. So as you can see, we have taken a couple days off to try and relax. How are we doing so far? Okay. <laughs> it turns out vacationing is also maybe a learned skill. But mostly I think it's, it's a type of habit too. Where you need to shut your brain down enough to actually enjoy being in the moment. And the thing that happens is that you shut your brain down a little bit and then it goes oh cool there's room and it immediately fills it with stuff again and then you're just sitting there coping with stuff and then you look up and you're like I'm in a beautiful park I should focus on that so I'm, I'm learning how to vacation but I think I think what it all comes down to is that we need to do this a whole lot more often because I think this is a skill that I want to be good at I think this is a skill that we could be really good at <laughs> I have been pondering this basically ever since I returned from Israel how much actual impact the places you live in have on you like obviously every city has its own flavor its own feeling to it so I've always been toying with the idea of you know living abroad somewhere I just never had a place no way I would really say okay I want to live there now but maybe that's okay maybe this is a process of discovery and maybe the way for me would be to actually live in a couple of places for a limited amount of time and to see what feels best and this is a thing that I never actually considered before returning from Israel just because by realizing how good it was for me to get like really some decent sunlight in the very dark in gloomy March. So I think Amsterdam is now on one of the cities where I could imagine to live for three to six months to see how, how it feels. And the good thing is that with the current lifestyle we are leading it is not completely impossible. And I kind of like that. Well, first. While a three-day vacation will never be enough to fulfill all of your vacation needs, it is always preferable to no vacation. I think this is just a common law that I'm 
now voicing that everybody already knows. But actual epiphany. We are nearing my birthday, which as per tradition always makes me kind of wistful and weird and you know re-examining all of life. And my life has changed a lot over the last few years. I was very set on a path to, you know, become a teacher and lead this particular life that I had all laid out and planned out and I got to the point where that was about to be actual reality and realized that I didn't want it, didn't like it, that that wasn't me at all because I'd never actually taken the time to examine who the hell I am and what the hell I want. And now through, you know, a lot of confusion and mess and whatnot, that has led me here to this magnificent little bohemian life I'm leading where I'm getting a master's degree in something that I believe in that I think I can be really good at where I'm working on projects that matter to me that mean a lot to me but all of that doesn't fit into the normal traditional framework none of my life right now none of me right now fits into normal traditional frameworks and that's disconcerting sometimes because well because the entire world tells you that you need to fit this plan and you need to you know prepare for things and you need to have a steady job and seek this and that and the other in your life and I think mostly our generation but really people in general don't function that way don't all function that way yes we all want stability and yes we all want meaning and all of that but the way we find it and what we find it in varies greatly. So this has been a really, really wonderful little vacation that was difficult because my brain doesn't always function the way I want it to. But all in all, it leads to the realization that this life I'm leading right now, this loose, open, strange life that I'm leading is exactly the life that I want to be leading, is exactly where I should be. That's pretty cool. I think we should have been paying attention to your sandwich factory all along. Which will bring us through the day and the following weeks. Years maybe. You're such a good provider. I have hunted these peanuts with my own two hands at this night. And then I put it in the middle of the glass and stab them! And now I am spreading their carcasses all over the bread. Well then fine. But first I'm distracted by a dog. Look at that guy, he's dog. Why can't you be like that with people? You love every dog. Yeah, most of them. It's true. Dogs are better than people. You also love most kids. Yeah, they're not screwed up yet. In like an evil, bad, mean way. There are some asshole kids. It's very tragic when it happens. I'd be glad to know that all of this was recording already. <laughs> Hello! Hello.